This video contains mild flashing lights. I had an idea for a project with no particular goal in mind, just create cool looking things with the right pixels. Eventually I managed to create some pretty cool looking patterns. Here are some of my personal favorites. After having created a few of these, I realized with my pixel setup, I could create Game of Life. Game of Life was invented by the British mathematician John Carway in 1970. This game is very simple. It takes place on an infinite array of squares, which can be in one of two states, alive or dead. The rules are as follows. If an alive square has less than or greater than three live neighbors, the square will die. If an alive square has two or three neighbors, it will stay alive. If a dead square has exactly three alive neighbors, it will become alive. By default, the pixels are all dead, but usually the user can click and create new live pixels. These simple rules can create very complex situations. As you can see here, when I put down random squares, all sorts of patterns appear. Some will form an endless loop. Some are chaotic for a time, but will dissolve into nothing. Some can travel forever. This is cool and all, but this is just the tip of the iceberg. All sorts of things can happen if we take the same idea but change the basic rules a bit. For this first modified version of the game of life, I did something simple. If a square has exactly one live neighbor, it will become alive. Otherwise, it will die. As you can see, when I run this pattern, it creates these squares. And the squares will grow and shrink and expand. By tweaking this rule more, for example, by having it only divide on every odd number or grow on every even number, etc, etc, eventually I created this cool looking snowflake pattern and many more. As you can see, this snowflake starts off simple but then grows and grows and becomes more and more complex. It creates all these beautiful mathematical fractal-like patterns. At this point, I had the realization that what if I tried color coding the pixels based on the amount of neighbors it has? This one here is very similar, but it's an octagon instead. If the rules don't allow for a pattern to decay, then it will crystallize. Here's a toothpick-like expansion pattern I created using this concept. What's so cool about this is that I, when I first saw it, I recognized this pattern from a number file video. I'll put a link to that in the description. This next one, in my opinion, is even cooler. The perimeter is that of a diamond square-like shape, but the inside of it is where it's cool. It has these fractal-like, quilt-like patterns that are very pretty to look at and expand on the cardinal directions as well as diagonally. And It also has a strange square-like core to it. Some of these patterns need some additional help to get started because they won't start from just one pixel. So for some of them, I'll have to put two down instead of one. This will cause the asymmetry. This next one is shockingly similar to the one we saw before, but with a few distinct differences, namely the way it expands. The, whole, the overall shape of it looks pretty similar to the last one, but it has a lot more of these strange blue spike things on them. 
but it has the same quilt-like pattern if you zoom in on it. But what I find also interesting about this one is that um, on either side it has these flickering parts. This one expands in a very similar manner to the previous ones, except it expands in more of a circular pattern, at least at first. It has a different pattern. This one looks more like it has pipes, whereas the other one looks more like a quilt. It has a strange maze-like property to it. Eventually, it becomes more and more less and less like a circle, and more and more like a diamond, just like the other ones. Notice this one has much more flickering in it than the other ones. Here's another one. What's cool about these is that I didn't know what kind of shapes they would generate when I was plugging in the rules. And I'm not sure, there, there probably is some math you could use to describe the way it grows, but I'm not really sure what that math would be. I just started plugging in random numbers and some of these cool patterns generated. Previously, some of these games would crystallize forming hardened structures while others would expand out infinitely and flicker and cause seizures. This one seems to do both. Some parts of it stay permanently frozen in one position while other parts of it flicker on and off. This one is definitely my favorite. There's so much going on, I don't even know where to start. Just take a look for yourself. Note that this is the only one that I changed the color scheme for.